what are the characteristics of a good leader? How do you foster and encourage those qualities in the Marines you lead, but also in people that are trying to make an influence and a positive difference in this world? Yeah, so I'd say for the listeners, and the Marine Corps has a great uh, uh, listing of leadership traits and principles. And we have the acronym JJD type buckle. So these uh, 14 leadership traits is what we instill in, in Marines as they come in. So everyone's raised under, you know, a certain value system, right? And when we bring in uh, young men and women, we try to give them a foundation. I mean, we talk about honor, courage, and commitment as core values. And then we provide 14 leadership traits and principles uh, for them to understand of what's most important for our service. And those 14 leadership traits, you just name them all, justice, judgment, dependability, integrity, decisiveness, tact, initiative, endurance, bearing, unselfishness, courage, knowledge, loyalty, enthusiasm, but one's missing and it's uh, empathy. And that's the one that I would add to that list. And again, because of my background, uh, it, it's clear for me to try to understand others' background. It ties to the golden rule. Um, but uh, I think if you can really walk in others' shoes, understand where they are trying to get to, you can help them get there. And every time you help someone in your unit, your unit gets better. You know, so uh, I think empathy is one of the keys uh, to that from a leadership, from a moral leadership uh, perspective. And I think it's often ignored. It's not in our JJD type buckle, uh, all the acronyms for that. But it's one key that's uh, helped me in, in my journey.